She's eating while well, she has breakfast and the hangriness goes away. I've already got one done. Actually, brunch. We already did this last year, and the idea now is to go back and tweak. So we yes. tweak and everything has a spot. So if you do it one time and really take three or four hours, and I know mm -hmm. it's easy once every six months or once every year to go back and just tweak. Okay, so that one's done. Now over here, let's go. I'm doing the uppers first. Up here, we've got, mm -hmm. we got. Oh, I think I forgot we have this. What? We have a knife sharpener. This is our. You uh, do? Yes. Oh this, my god! This is our. It's our French press. Wait, wait, wait! I've been looking for this. I know. That doesn't go there. What? The French press? No, yeah. that should go with the, where the tea oh. and stuff, the coffee goes. Okay, I'll put over here. Oh my gosh! This is the coffee station. I'm just gonna continue eating my beet. It's fine. Look at this, yummy, healthy. Okay. These are our blender. Our I'm having fun. So again, this is, already, this is already organized from before, so yeah. it's about putting it back to where it was, so this is a blender, a blender Good area. job, Adam. Do you need me at all? Not really. You just sit there and look pretty. Sauces and spices are already good. I sure all of those over here. The pantry. The pantry's next. Uh, let's see, so extra spices go in here. He is like moving like, 15, 20 miles per hour. I didn't know Adam could move this fast. If anybody knows, <laughs> knows that I'm the fast one of the two. A lot of letters. Huh? Let you tell it. Uh, Let you tell it. Yeah, but you don't put things back. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. What are you talking yes, about? Mommy, yes, well, I do. Uh, you are taking a side that is cheating. Look at this. You put all oils together with vinegar because they're the same. No, no all because vinegar. this says oils, this says vinegars, this says salt. Oh, so. I didn't see that. Okay, so then vinegars go up there. Okay, here's vinegar, Calvert. Vinegar. Salts. I, I'm gonna check all. Do you want me to help you? No, I do, but not in this part. So we, you just want me to, you just want me here for moral support. Right there just to be, look pretty. Okay, so what is, why is kitchen twine in the oils? No. Kitchen twine. Does it go with the oils? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. You want to know why? Why? Because the way my brain works, when we are roasting a chicken, mm -hmm. you got to put some oil, butter, and then kitchen, all your seasoning right here. Kitchen twine. And then I want the twine no, twi where twine, I want twine this. Twine does not go with oils. Stop complaining about the twine. This is a tough one. These are cooking tools and prep tools. And the problem is, many of them cross over. So like, people get confused, like my wife. Mary, you gonna help daddy? No, Okay, thanks for the help. No, I think what's happening here is we naturally have different gifts of organizing and we organize differently. I like to take everything out first to see what I have, then look at the space. And I think I'm a little bit more anal with my organizing. I owned it. Um, so I can see what we have, and then we put it all together. Oh, it looks like Adam is doing that too. No, there's but certain, there are certain, there's certain places that you take it all out, and there's certain places you don't need to. Like up here, I, didn't, I only took out that one shelf, because the other ones were still in pretty good shape. And that drawer over there, I didn't have to empty it, because it was just moving things around. But, but the coolest thing is, but we this, are working together. But this one, these drawers, everything had to come yeah, out. Yeah, that needs to come because out. Because some people, don't put things back. You know what it is? I think I just, it's kind of like what I do put things back, actually. This is the one um, I wasn't gonna let that fly. Um, I think what it is is we have, I the cooking and the prep tools, like you said, they cross over a little bit. So what I think is a cooking tool, he may think it's a prep tool and vice versa. So and one I, of us is right. And one of this is wrong. So this is what we're gonna do. You do that drawer, I do the spice, and then we swap, and then we just go out. Then we just go over everything. Deal. To just kind of like fine tune Ready? it. Ready? Okay, Ready. go. That way, instead of one person just doing one thing all the time, mm -hmm. we're actually getting the kitchen done faster. Because I have a little project, you have a little Why? project, and then we'll both oversee it at the end. Are spoons, in your opinion, prep tools or cooking tools? They could be. Either. Either. So, so. when I'm thinking of cooking, I'm thinking of more stainless steel, because I don't want to put 
Cooking or prep? Can I keep you both? No, this, this is cooking. No, this is prep for the prep for. Oh hell, see? That's why I was putting them in the wrong place. This looks dangerous. That's what you crush garlic with. This is a prep tool or it can be used in Game of Thrones. So Adam is, he's pretty much the brains of the operation and then I come in and nice. fix things aesthetically just to make sure yeah, it, looks, it looks nice and then there are a couple of things that don't make sense. I just kind of like tweak it a little bit. I think that's our system, yeah. right? Yeah. Great. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. The idea is to put the right things together. So knives here and there. It's a little sort of, this actually goes on the edge of your pots. So they don't drip. Turkey. Is there? This is like the waiter use for off the counter. Where does this go? Hmm. Right. Hmm, so it's going here. So here we've got the skewers, which actually should be for the barbecue drawer. So we've got the slicer, we've got the uh, pizza cutter, and now we got the folding picket knife right there. Look at that. Let's go right there. Put the stingray over and draw them out. We we're making a oh there's a lot of pink right there. So I don't really like organizing, it's not something that I wake up in the morning and say, oh yeah, this is something that I really wanna do. But for my brain, for our lifestyle, it just makes sense. We're always moving, always going. So every area in our house is organized so that if we wanna get up and go really quickly, we know where things are. I learned through actually an organizing company that we used at first, and if you can, they're great to kind of like just start it off and then you see how it's done and throughout the years you, you, you tweak it. What I learned about organizing is it's kind of just like a puzzle and that's how I think I made it a little bit more fun. But it's basically just like figuring out the puzzle and when you do it that way, it's fun. Because again, I'm doing the part where things look just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And see, I like that. So this is the final product right here. So babe, what do you think of this? I think it'll last, couple, I think it'll last a couple of days. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I think that looks great. Don't you? I know it's fabulous. We have cooking tools. What's up, Lonnie? I'm shooting that Housley life. Lonnie, I'm organizing my kitchen and I'm shooting the Housley life. Leave us alone. What you want? <laughs> okay, oh my god, that looks amazing, babe. And then what I like to do too, is I like to just go through with a little rag. It's not beer, it's kombucha. But it tastes like beer at 11 o'clock in the morning. Good serving stuff. And then here is our cutting gourds. Okay, that's good. When I think of these, I think of like prepping the salad. Like putting the salad in the bowl, or... They are. See, I think of these as cooking. I use these to cook. But I use these too. I use those as well. You do? Oh, I see. He does. That wasn't me. Burp. That was not me. That was her. Don't let That's her fool you. That's why I use these. Don't let her fool you. Don't let her fool you. Yeah. <laughs> That's her too. He did. I don't even, do you think I'm going to use baby blue to cook? Oh, damn. I had a fun. I had a fun. You guys know. We have video record of this. Okay, I'm going to show you something here before you go further. Okay, look at it. I approve. Okay, so. Check. So we check on everything I approve. Check. Moving okay. on. That one's done. That's just the rag drawer. Okay. You were, you oh, were, you were, you were, where are our rags? Anymore. No. You were <laughs> okay. Not, okay. This is. Oh, our, did we go through this? Nope. I'll do the lower ones next. I said the top ones first. I thought I heard you say that's fine. No, I said I haven't gone through these yet. I thought I heard you say this one's I said fine. it's probably fine, but I haven't looked at it yet. No, it's, it's just not, because I can already tell. But I have it's gone cheese through. cutting boards, and then you have actual it cutting yet. boards. Well, mommy found it in the ocean with pool stingers. Now I don't know why it takes nine hours for her to do the kitchen. No, but I no. see these are these were two. It's because these were two different spoons. I had them in different spots. So no, we, have have this one. we have video evidence. We have video evidence. How about we just put this? 
Because these are too big. That's what I had. This is how you had it? Yep. Thank you. Okay. That is short. Uh, oh, this looks great. It's pretty good, right? Yes. Yeah. So let's do a before and after. So this is the brains of the operation right here. Adam has done this. Because we've been married for some time, I can kind of see why. I think maybe the challenging part when couples are, are probably organizing is your brain works differently and how you see things and how you use things. So I'm gonna let him, because he's actually doing more of the cooking, so I'm, I'm gonna let him be the brains of this and also he's smart too. So I can kind of, I can kind of see where he's going with this and now all I'm gonna do is just tweak it a little bit and make it look a little prettier. This is a before. Stuff is kind of like all over the place. You have cheese board in there. So now we'll see what it looks like when I'm done with it and then she tweaks it. I love measuring cups. I love measuring cups when I cook. I love measuring cups, tablespoons, and uh, stainless steel mixing bowls, and a really good, like, hearty, chunky cutting board. And a little salt and pepper holders. I love this. And you gotta have your good old olive oil bottle. Uh. So our kids, as you know, they love to cook. You gotta put a lot of chocolate. We have a couple of episodes with them cooking. Here, the top is the walks. Okay. The walks, okay? And this is the, these are the strainers. Perfect. Thank you. I'm gonna go over here. Can you show you? Just, oh, good. Well, all right, all right, all right. Shouldn't Give Daddy a round of applause. You shouldn't have bowed, you shouldn't have bowed. Oh pretty. no, she's not feeling it. Wait, you bowed very well when your hair was done, Mama. The way I think and the way I do things is a bit extreme. I know it is extra. I know it. Um, a bit. A bit. No, it is. I know it's extra. I know, but it's a. I can't help. It, okay. Tamara's truth bomb. Tamara Mori Powsley is. Ding, 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 Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ready? The last spot. Okay, here we go. T. Watch how fast I'm going to kiss out. I have, again, Tamara Mori's extra truth bomb. I don't like putting clean, organized, kitchen stuff back in dirty cabinets. It's just, oh, I agree with that. what's the point? Uh, that's a thing on Joe Bros. Oh, you told Alexa to put on Joe Bros? Araya okay. loves her some Jonas Brothers. So does Aiden. And so does Aiden. Did you hear that, Jonas Brothers? I heard that you guys actually um, loved Sister Sister back in the day. And I think while we were filming Twitches, you guys were doing one of your concerts, and we were trying to make a way to get down there and see one. And I think it's so cool that now that I have kids, you guys have kids, my kids love you guys. You guys are dead. So, what, two and a half hours? Two and a half hours. Done. Yes. Now it's time for lunch and finally that beer. You can have the beer. I'm gonna have some water with some sparkling. So what projects should <laughs> what projects should we do next? Leave in the comments below. Tell us some of your uh, fun stories and if you do the same thing with your spouse. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the, the Housey Life. Life. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put letters on it? No. Okay. You really don't have letters on it. Some steam brace has.